So the PLAAF commander, whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce on this channel, goes to his higher-ups with a bold request. A new next-generation fighter jet. Something that's not imported and something that's not copied. Built in China from scratch. And shockingly, he gets the green light and 500 million yuan to kick it off. Three companies submit ideas. Shenyang offers a F-16 style jet, while Hongdu pushes for a MiG-23 clone. But it's the Chengdu Aircraft Design Institute that wins with a bold Delta Wing design. Equipped with canards, it's very reminiscent of Sweden's Saab Vigen. But you see, despite what many people think, that China simply copied the European Delta Wing plus canards design, this wasn't really the case. It was Chengdu that previously developed an aircraft designated as J9, a double Delta plus canard single engine fighter that should have replaced the J7 back in the day, but it was cancelled in the 1980s. So when the next generation fighter was finally approved to be developed by Chengdu, the bones of a previously cancelled J9 project found a new life. And a hero jet has a hero engineer. Leading the charge was the engineer Song Wen Kong, a man who would go down as a legend in Chinese aviation. Their goal was simple, build China's first true modern fighter with cutting edge aerodynamics, fly-by-wire controls, and their own engine, the WS-10. But this dream would face hurdle after hurdle. By the late 80s, development stalled. 